Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're doing a full face wax, guys. A lot of you guys have been asking me for this. I'm here to deliver. I am just cleansing right now. Removing any oil, makeup, or lotion that's going to prevent the quality of the wax from taking place. Guys, make sure your clients, like when they're booked for a full face, that they don't show up with a full face of makeup, okay? A lot of clients like to say, oh, I never leave the house without makeup. Well, you're going to leave the house today without it if you're coming to see me. Because it's going to give you more work to do, guys. We don't like to do more work. So the very first important thing for me to do when I'm starting the face is I like to get the complicated area out of the way, which is typically the chin. So we're going to do the chin first. And I do use a medium stick for the chin, just so I cover a wider area. As you can see. And just like anything else I do, guys, I want to cover as much area as possible so I can finish in a timely manner. I don't have to worry about nothing else. And it's okay, guys, if you accidentally get wax on people's clothes, just leave it alone, let it dry, and it comes right off. So this is already dry, and typically with the face services, everything dries quick. Apply pressure, and one more pressure. So let me see if my... I can show you guys. Got some good ones there. You see them? Yeah, baby. So we're going to proceed now. And I treat the face like it's a mirror. Whatever I do on one side, I do on the other. So I don't forget what I did. So for instance, we're going to just... And don't be afraid to touch your client's face. Let them know you need them to move to the side a little bit. And what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to lay the wax down. And we're just going to elongate the strip. Y'all know that's my word I like to use. So it's the sideburns and half of her cheek area. I do have a little bit of wax left on my stick. You guys know I don't waste wax. So we're just going to apply it where I see some uh, stranglers from the chin. So this is already dry. Now remember guys, we're removing not only just facial hair, but peach fuzzes. A lot of people do this just to get rid of those peach fuzzes so their makeup application looks better. So it's not really like a quick, fast pull, but just kind of like stagger. Stagger and relax at the same time. Okay. So that wasn't bad at all. Now we're going to do the opposite side because I have this thing where sometimes I just be all over the place and I just like to just do, you know, one thing at a time. Take it all the way back here. So the bigger the strips, guys, the less time that you'll spend waxing the face. And then I'm one of those type of people too. Like if I see like a little chest hair on my clients, I just get it for them. And if I do this, that means I actually like the client or they're loyal. So this is already dry. You see how I follow up with that pressure as I remove the strip? That's important. Let me see if my camera wants to behave today and show you guys. Like literally the peach fuzz and everything. So now we're going to proceed with just making sure we get the other side of the cheeks that we didn't do. So now we're moving on here and here. And if you notice, I kind of take it into the chin because it provides as a double cleanup for me. Everyone's facial features are different, so I do the full face differently for everyone. Wow. So I get the little lip and corner right there. And then I'll do the other side. So that's just something to remember. Not everyone has the same facial features, so you're not always going to do the full face the same way. Once you get all your initial strips out of the way, the cleanups are a lot easier. So this one's dry. Oh, always wipe the excess wax on your gloves. That's usually the reason why you can't pick up the strip over here. Put a little spirit fingers on there when I apply that pressure. And then the same thing over here. Okay, so now that we got that out the way, guys, I'm going to do her lip, lower lip, and this part of her chin. 
I'll use a smaller stick now for her lip. I'm going to find a way so we can get it to that So take this thumb finger, hold it taut, and make sure you get right underneath the nose area too. So I'll do that one, and then I'll do the opposite and lower lip. Just so nothing touches and nothing overlaps. These are already dry, of course, like everything else. And everyone tears up a little bit when they get their lip wax. It's normal. So you have a new client doing their lip. You let them know. Prepare to cry like a baby. So now we're going to do the opposite bottom. And make sure you guys are applying pressure. I know you're dealing with someone's face, but it actually feels good to them. And then we'll do over here. If you just stick to like one little area and don't try to be all over the place, you don't forget where you haven't waxed yet. There we go. Oh, I know she felt that one. So now we're going to do that middle part that I talked about. And then before I move to the top of her face, I just kind of like to get the lower face out of the way because it's like I said, it's the hardest area. And then I'm actually going to try to drag this wax up to get a little bit of a cleanup on the lower lip. And look how much wax. Like, look at that strip that I got just from using a small stick. Amazing. Pressure is what helps you accomplish that. All right, so now we're going to do the cleanup strips. Which everything is, everything is going to be basically opposite direction. You guys know my cleanups are always opposite. <laughs> I'll be right with you, Kisa. You guys know I record these no matter what. So I got people in here, my sister's in here. So with this one, guys, just remember it's a cleanup and it's the primary goal is to really get a lot of the fuzzies off. So it's like a real stacker stacker. A lot of fuzzies on here. And then now we're going to clean up this side. You notice how I just gently place my hand here? I don't want to harass her face. Manhandle her face. There we go. Can you guys see that? I don't even know. I'm just literally holding on to it. Now we're going to do the inside of the cheek area as well as the chin cleanup. So when it comes to these cheeks, they're really, really tricky. So the first time I kind of went down with it, now my cleanup is just going to go this way. Kind of like at an angle and I get to do a little cleanup on the lip too. Kill two birds with one stone. And we'll do the same thing for the other side. You know, poor girl. I try to get him there. Um, we just push it down that shit. Mm -hmm. So I ain't even said nothing to him about it. I was just like, nah. I ain't gonna say nothing to him. Yeah. Did you see 
I didn't want to get too close because I didn't want to overlap my lips touching, but you guys get the point. There we go. There we go. We'll clean up this wax right here. So everything's looking good. I'm just doing the middle right here of her chin and then we'll move on to the top part of her face. Right here, we'll even make it a little cleanup for this area right here. And yes, Caucasian people do get red, guys. It's normal, okay? Beautiful. So now we're going to move on to the top portion of her face. I always save the eyebrows for last, just because it's more work. You know, there's the shaping, trimming, etc. But in this case, we're going to turn her head over to the side again. I'm going to place my hand right here. That way, all her hair is held down. So not everyone likes to do all this, but this particular client, she loves it. She wants it all gone. And it's just kind of like a combination of doing like the size of her hairline. And once you just ask your client the first visit how much they want off, you just know every time they come, you don't have to keep asking. So it's your job as a wax specialist to try to remember your client's request. We're even going to do this part up here, just like her forehead. Smooth it out. And this is all to get rid of the fuzz, guys. Like I said, there's not actually real thick, coarse hairs here. My client just wants to look nice with her makeup application. So we're going to gently turn her face over to this side, hold all of this. We'll get in here. And these hairs, I don't know why, they usually come up perfectly on the top part. That's always save it for last. It's just the easiest stuff to do. The bottom part always needs to clean up, but this top part, it just cooperates very well. So now we're going to get the forehead up here and go the opposite way. Now after doing this, guys, we are going to go straight into her eyebrows. We've already done her nose, which you guys saw. Um, if you haven't seen it, there's another video separate to it with the nose. So make sure you guys check that out. Eyebrows, of course, guys, I always start off in the middle, work your way over. It all depends on the space between the brows. Some people have a small space where you can just do the whole thing. Some people don't. Now we'll do the other side. And typically a full face should take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, guys. Of course, if you got a PCOS full face, it can be anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. Little piece of wax there. We'll clean that up. And then with her eyebrows, I'm going to turn her head right just like that. Just remember, depending on the shape of their eyebrows, that you're either doing parallel strips or you're doing curved strips. This is going to be parallel. So one's going to be this way. The other one's going to overlap that way. 
It's like we're doing a mug row. What are we calling the mug row? I'm sorry. We're doing a mug row. I got you love me. And then parallel. And if you're a new waxer and you're not comfortable doing eyebrows, just don't get too close. And then you'll have to rely on tweezing, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Over time, you'll get comfortable and you'll do your thing as you go. All right, we're going to turn her head back around. We're going to do the opposite eyebrow here. And these should dry like almost immediately. The time consuming part of doing the eyebrows is definitely the tweezing. But the waxing part should be easy. And I always start away from the eyebrow and move closer to it. I have enough wax on my stick here that I can actually do another strip here. You guys know I don't waste wax. I just have to do underneath the other eyebrow. from here guys we'll apply some aloe and remember when you're waxing the face you're pulling hairs from all over the face you always want to make sure you apply aloe and you want to just kind of I just kind of smother it out and I treat my clients to like a little happy ending basically is what I call it just create that circulation especially for the blood flow if they start falling asleep you can give them a little love tap on their face like well, wake up this is not what you're here for. I don't do facials anymore, but I know they miss it. All right, guys, that concludes at least my full face. I hope this helps you guys in terms of getting it done in a timely manner. I think I finished her full face in literally like, what, 15, 16 minutes? But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys, and let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. If you are an esthetician and you are on Facebook, do not forget to join the Facebook link in the description below. Till next time, I'll see you guys then. Bye.